Our next uh, uh, speakers are uh, Hannah Lamplew and, of course, uh, Cara Brackenbury, who uh, Councillor Venner um, uh, referred to uh, earlier on. Uh, they're going to talk to us about um, the Have a Voice Council. Uh, does anybody not know what the Have a Voice Council is? So everyone knows what the count. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll not stall for time and, uh, and and talk about that too much, other than to say that Kyra is also um, uh, lives with a uh, foster family and is able to talk to us about uh, that experience as well. I understand. Have you got a mic? Bring a, yeah. Bring in bring in microphones as well, which will mean that you can hear, which is good. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Hannah and I manage the Voice Influence and Change team um, at Leeds City Council. Um, hi, I'm Kyra. I'm 17 and I go to Leeds City College and I study health and social care. Okay, so we're going to be doing a bit of a question and answer session on stage for you today. Um, I've had the pleasure of knowing Kyra for about four years, we think, um, and she's been a member of our Have A Voice Council. So we're just going to have a bit of a chat on stage, um, and if there's any time, anyone can ask questions at the end, or we're actually running a workshop later, so some of we'll see some of you. Okay, so first question. Um, Kyra, can you tell me a few things you enjoy doing or make you happy? Um, going out for food. Um, <laughs> Going to have a voice in care leavers. I recently just joined care leavers, and anything glittery and sparkly. Okay, um, and can, can you tell me a little bit more about what you do on the Have a Voice Council? So there's um, group meetings every two weeks, but I'm always doing things in between that. Um, for example, we go to events and meet other young people and share our views with managers who, and people who make decisions. We, we do group consultations where people will come in and ask for our opinion on a certain idea. Um, interview panels, so I help who decide would we'll get a job. I also do um, commissioning panels where I help decide who, which organisation gets a contract with the council. I meet lots of inspectors like offset inspectors. <coughs> um, I, I help plan, judge and present the STARS Awards and I've also been in two films. So, so you're very busy, very yeah. busy. Um, so what would you say, Kyra, because um, you've had some big proud moments recently, haven't you? Um, are your, some of your proudest moments or memories? Recently, I attended um, a National Social Work Conference where I spoke to a room of social workers about... What was it about? Um, <laughs> I wasn't there, but I think you were just sharing yeah. your experiences and what it's like to be in care and yeah. your what, what uh, your advice to people in the room would be. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was really good and it was the first time I had ever done something like that yeah. before. Um, just talking on stage and uh, at events like this, um, getting a lead youth award and um, a few years ago I was shortlisted as a member of Youth Parliament. That was fantastic. So you might have seen Kyra in the Yorkshire Evening Post. Your photo is everywhere. Uh, can you remember what you were campaigning for? What was in your manifesto? Um, for schools and like educational establishments to have more knowledge uh, of where to direct people with mental health issues. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Um, so you've been in foster care for quite a few years. It'd be fantastic if you could share, because we've got lots of foster carers in the room, and what you think makes a good foster carer. So first, someone not too professional. <laughs> <laughs> someone who focuses on bringing up the child as their own and not like, oh, I can't do this. The social worker said I can't do it. <laughs> someone, someone who's funny, kind and loving. 
just basically what every child needs from a family. Someone who has high aspirations for you and also helps them achieve them. Someone to help you, encourage you to carry on your interests or take up new ones. Someone who is non-judgmental, so someone who doesn't judge where a child has come from and their past, but looks, looks towards the future. And of course, someone to be my personal chauffeur. <laughs> Um, and uh, you, uh, you mentioned Mary and Martin, your foster carers, and Mary's here today. Um, what would you like to say about them? So they're one in a million, and I don't think you'll ever meet anybody like them. And um, they've accepted me for who I am. And um, last year I was a bridesmaid for my uncle, and this September just gone, I was a bridesmaid for Mary's son. Yeah. And you got to wear lots of sparkly things as well, so you enjoyed yeah. that. Fully part, embraced and big part of one big family. Um, and you go to Emma. Is Emma in the room today? Yeah. Give us a wave, Emma. So you go to Emma for short breaks. Tell us a bit about what you do with Emma. So it depends who's there, but if so, I just spend time with them or do whatever we're doing. Um, have baths. I love a good bath. I could spend, I could spend like three hours in there. <laughs> um, and also just doing like normal stuff mm -hmm. and having fun, sleeping in. <laughs> yeah. And what would you say to anyone here who might be thinking about fostering? I'd say definitely, first of all, go for it because you don't know what it's going to be like until you try. And uh, you can change other young people's lives and make a difference. And even if the foster child or young person doesn't seem very grateful now, they will in the future. Fantastic. And we've got quite a few professionals in the room today. Any, any sort of advice you have on what they could keep doing or perhaps do better? to support the needs of uh, looked after children and young people? So the first one is keep being an advocate because you're their main point of contact. Um, do not, under any circumstances, make false promises. Do what you say you're going to do, even if that means being um, very truthful at times. Um, genuine and someone who's very person-centred and really cares and wants to know the interests of that young person or child. Fantastic. And just finally, what are your hopes and dreams for the future, Kyra? Um, so, um, so my hopes and dreams are to have children and to have a happy life like all the rest of yeah. you. And I want to be a social worker for... Um, other children and young people that are looked after in Leeds. Yeah. Okay. Thank right, you. Thank you. Thank you. We won't prepare on the spot with questions, but we do come to our workshop yeah. later. And just Councillor Venner had said. Um, she wanted to know when Compass House was, so that's an ideal opportunity for you to um, stock up on Christmas presents developed by and made by uh, children and people uh, with disabilities all across the city. So date for your diary, it's week commencing the 2nd of December, so Monday to Friday, and it's at Kirkgate Market who've given two free units over from 10 till 2. So 